Hi, Jim Hood, Fathom Realty, serving Greater Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, and this is a very, very brief market update. Yes, the market is continuing to change, and interesting things are happening. You've been hearing the news media talking about real estate bubble, real estate bubble. Don't worry about it. It is not happening at this stage of the game. I can't say it isn't going to happen down the road, but as things stand, bubble ain't bursting. Uh, there's adjustments in the market. Yes. Um, you know, the Fed's inflating the interest rates. It's come down just a bit since uh, you know, the date of this recording. But, uh, you know, a lot of people are looking at the interest rates and going, oh, my goodness, it's pushing 7%. Yeah, but it has been far worse than that. This is much more normal than back in the days of Jimmy Carter when we were at like 18% or post-COVID when it was down near zero. That's abnormal. That is not normal and was creating a feeding frenzy that was bad news for the real estate industry. So uh, good for sellers, but sellers had a place to, that they needed to buy uh, unless they were just going to live with their kids. Um, anyway, we'll get into there. Let me do a share screen. Now, this is dealing with Hamilton County. And uh, down below this, you will see that there are links for uh, Hamilton, Butler, Warren, Claremont, and then Kenton, Campbell, and Boone counties uh, in northern Kentucky. These are evergreen links, which means whenever you click them, they will pull the most recent information up. Uh, and what we are seeing with these is that, you know, it's pretty much standard across the area on either side of the river. Um, you know, the, the trends are there. I was just pulling up a specific zip code as well for a client and showing them what is happening in that particular zip code. And county wide for Hamilton County, um, you know, it's pretty much the same. So let's take a quick look at this. Uh, as far as the summary goes, I like graphs because everything is right there, uh, print out side by sides. Um, we have, for this is for October, because obviously if I'm posting this on the 19th of November, we haven't finished November yet. So previous period was October. There were in Hamilton County, 792 sales. Now, how does that compare with September? It's actually less. This amount of drop is a little bit abnormal. It isn't across the entire area. It just depends, but fewer home sales are occurring. And the same thing is very much true when you compare October of this year to October of last year. The number of home sales have dropped. Now, the question is why? Um, and in part, it's dealing with the interest rate and also in part, it's dealing with the inventory. Uh, we don't have a large amount of homes that are available. We are still running at a deficit. The demand versus the supply. Demand is higher. And what we're going to see is that that's going to continue driving the prices up because supply and demand always is going to be the major indicator or major influencer in the market. Interest rates, it's going to slow things down a little bit because it's going to take some buyers out of the game, but it is what it is. Median sale price. All right, we see it's up 1% from last month or September, but in contrast to October of 2021, you see this, it's up 9%. Um, it was up 12% in the zip code that I just pulled. Uh, you know, it's still, we're seeing the prices in our area still going up because it comes back to what we just talked about. Demand is here, supply is here. So the competition is still there. Um, now it's interesting when tracking for new construction, new construction has all of a sudden started coming out with all of these different incentives. New construction probably has been impacted a little bit more so than regular resales. Um, so if you're interested in some of the offerings that new construction have, let me know. And uh, it goes from everything from an interest rate buy down to finished basements to you name it. Some have even had a price decrease. Um, you know, the median list price, sale price, the list price. Right now it's at 98% countywide for Hamilton County. It was 99% of asking this time last year. Depending upon the area that you're dealing with, this is actually going to be, in all likelihood, a little bit of a wider gap um, for the different areas. 
uh, the zip code I was just talking about that I had pulled up that was out in Claremont County, the difference here is much more pronounced. We are showing where it was 100% last, uh, last year, October of 2021, and this year it was down to 97% of asking. So buyers are being a little bit pickier. Um, if the home is priced right, good location, good condition, there's still competition. We're seeing prices uh, for the home above what is asking. But if it isn't there, if the price isn't set right, if the location isn't right, or if the condition isn't right, those prices for the sale price are coming below what the actual asking price is. Days on market, and again, area by area, it's going to differ a little bit. We are seeing longer time on market than we were this time last year, even though county-wise for Hamilton County, it isn't showing it here on this graph. And then again, once again, number of homes sold last year, there was more sold than this year, uh, um, year to date. And that's an 8% decrease. Down below, you know, you'll see other breakdowns that are here. Here's a nice little graph that shows sales in 2022 versus 2021. And you can see by and large, the sales, there were more home sales month by month last year than there were this year. There are a couple of months where there's a difference, but overall, and then list price to sale price, you can see April and May, 103% of asking price. Sellers were getting more across the board than what they were asking for, and that's dipped down a little bit. Months of inventory, important. Take note, watch this. This is the number of months of inventory that we have and right now based on the number of homes selling versus active or pending on the market. We only have a month, 1.2 months in the county of, of homes that are available. So that is something that indicates sellers are more in control than the buyers are at this stage. It still continues to be that way. Price right, right location, right condition, there's a lot of competition going on. Demand is here. Inventory is here. That means sellers still remain in control, but not as much, as much, not nearly as much as this time last year. And then there's a breakdown what it means, seller's market versus buyer's market. And that's broke down down here. Um, the uh, number of active listings by price range is in the report. And again, we've got the reports for all of the um, area counties that are down below this, and then just general statistics break down by the price range and what the sales have been. So again, below this, links for Hamilton, Butler, Warren, Claremont, and then Boone, Kenton, and Campbell. Um, you know, these are evergreen links, will be constantly updated as new information comes out. Any questions, I'm here. Look forward to talking with you. I'm Jim Hood with Fathom Realty.